Here's a blast from the past. This is the experimental Bush class back in 2008 at Valdez. This is Ed Doyle flying Kazoom. Mike Olson was kind of famous for his airplane Kazoom. He was very generous and let a lot of people fly this cub that he trusted. Ed Doyle was known as his hired gun and would go to different stole competitions and perform with it. Next up here is Wayne Mackey. He was the creator of the SQ-2. And this is actually him flying his own airplane at Valdez. Pretty impressive. This wasn't the first year of Valdez, but I think it was maybe the second or third year. I was fortunate enough to be a part of it for the first year and I showed up with Bushwhacker and there's some video on the internet of that. Unfortunately I showed up the same year that the Carbon Cub showed up and I got beat out by Doug Keller's pretty amazing Carbon Cub. I don't know Wayne Mackey real well. He's been modifying Cubs since before I had my pilot's license for sure and that goes back 25 years so He's probably kind of the grandfather in experimental type cubs. His claim to fame originally was the slats, which make that airplane perform at really high angles of attack, fairly safely, I might add. He also created a fairly ingenious way of drooping the ailerons so that when you were landing, you had both the flaps down and your ailerons drooped but you still had roll control. During this Valdez takeoff and landing competition, they made a rule that only two pilots could fly the same aircraft. So Mike Olson really wanted me to fly Kazoom, also known as the Redneck Cub. At the very end, you'll see me demo it. It's really evident today that if you look at the stole competitions that are being promoted, that the aircraft have come a long ways as far as capabilities. A little bit about Mike Olson's airplane Kazoom. He's running a 375 stroker motor built by BART at Aerosport Power. Uh, he's running nitrous oxide and a custom fixed pitch three bladed composite prop. It's a fairly light airplane for as big a wing as it has. It was not painted other than silver. It's just a uh, polyfiber with silver, no top coat. Mike tried to lighten things as much as he could. By today's standards, it would be a very heavy airplane, but it still performed pretty well. Here you have Paul Claus from Ultima Thule Lodge also flying Kazoom. This is where it shows piloting skill. Paul had never flown Kazoom even without being in the airplane ever before he was able to perform very well. Here's another thing that shows how far the experimental bush type flying business has grown. You only had half a dozen experimental aircraft show up for this competition. If it was held today you'd probably have who knows ten times that amount. This uh, white and red cub is owned by Hank Swan. He had eventually bought my cub known as Got Rocks, which um, has become fairly popular. Even the RC guys have copied it and made little RC airplanes out of the naked cub, what they call the naked cub. And then here, last but not least, you have me flying Kazoom. I think I had maybe flown it one other time. And today I was flying it with the nitrous, which was a little bit unexpected. Anyway, it was fun and my score didn't count because I was the third person to fly the airplane. Thanks for watching.